Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about connecting your camera to your Android device. So the first step is to press your Wi-Fi button on the back of the camera. And you'll notice we're gonna to connect to a smartphone. So we'll select the first option here and register a device for connection. So again, press set. You can go down and select Android, which will display a QR code or you can simply press set again and the camera's SSID and password will come up on the screen. From here, it's time to jump over to our Wi-Fi settings on the phone. And you need to locate the camera in your Wi-Fi list. So in this case, it's the first one here. The passcode back on the screen, it says the password down the bottom there. So that's what we're gonna put in. When you're ready to join, press the join button at the top. Great, so I can see that the phone and camera have connected successfully. So the next step is simply to open the Camera Connect app. At this point, your phone will ask for certain permissions, so you need to follow the prompts on your phone. Great, so the phone has detected the camera. So I'm just gonna press down here and I'll wait for the two to connect. You'll notice on the back of the camera, it's asking, do I want to connect to this smartphone? So I also need to press OK on the camera as well. Now that the connection has been established, we have two great options on the app for us to use. The first one is to view the images currently on the camera. So when I press this option here, all of the photos that are saved on the memory card are able to be viewed and downloaded straight onto my phone. To do that, just click on one of the photos and on the bottom of the screen, you'll notice this button down here is the download button. When I press that button, we have an option here to save the original size or a smaller version, a reduced size. One of the other great features that I love about this app is the fact that I can shoot remote so with this option here, remote live view shooting, when I click on it, it actually allows me to view what the camera sees from my mobile phone. Not only can I see what the camera sees, but I can also change things like the aperture, the ISO, the white balance, and just about all the controls that you'll notice on your camera, I can control from my screen here, which is fantastic. When you're ready to take a photo, simply press this button. If you've tried to connect your camera to your smartphone before and you're having some difficulties, one of the things that I could recommend is to simply go into the menu and reset your Wi-Fi connections. When you press the menu button, go into the yellow menu for function settings, navigate down to the wireless communication settings, and at the very bottom, you'll notice it says clear settings here. Once you've cleared the settings, follow this tutorial again so you can connect your camera to your smartphone.